Today we're going to show you how to change the front lower basket seal on your dryer. It's a pretty easy job. All we're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, a putty knife, and some high temperature adhesive. Let me show you how we do it. Now the first step in this repair will be to disconnect power to the dryer. If it has a cord on it, simply unplug it. If it's a hardwired dryer, we'll need to locate the fuses or the breakers and turn those off. Now the model we're working with today is a stacked version washer dryer. and We've taken the dryer off but the disassembly and repair procedures will be the same. So our next step is to lift the main top. There's a couple of spring clips in about three inches on either side. So with our putty knife, push back on those, lift up on the top. We'll tilt the top up, we'll disconnect this ground strap, and then we'll lift the main top off of the rear hinges. Next, we'll disconnect two wire harnesses. That will allow us to remove the front panel. There are two Phillips screws. They're located in about this position. One on each side, so we'll remove those. Now we can tilt the front panel forward. You'll have the weight of the drum pressing on it, so you may have to lift that up a bit to get it out. Tilt it down far enough that you can disengage the bottom of the panel from two clips on the base frame. And now we're ready to replace the felt. Now with the dryer front off, we now have access to that lower felt seal. And you'll take note that there is a beveled edge on the one side of that seal that will face towards the drum. So make sure that when we put our replacement on that we get it properly uh, positioned. We'll simply grasp a portion of the old seal, peel it off, discard that. Now, the next thing we'll want to do is clean up the surface that we're going to glue that new seal to. And if you need to take a little wire brush or even just a scraper to clean any of the excess glue off of there. Once we've removed all of the old debris, we'll take our new felt and just do a dry fit on it. And if we need to trim a little bit off, make sure that we don't take too much, just to make sure that it fits tight up against the upper felt. And you can trim off any excess with a razor knife. Now our next step will be to apply a little bit of the high temperature adhesive, just a bead of it, perhaps two beads of it all the way around the perimeter and take very good caution on that because it is very sticky uh, and we don't want to get it on the inside surface of the drum front. Now continue with the adhesive all the way around. Make a last minute check to make sure you haven't missed any spots. And then we're ready to put the felt on. And we'll take our felt, butt one end of it up against the upper felt. And make sure that we keep it even all the way around. Ensure that you didn't get any glue on the outer surface. 
And now we should let that set for, oh, at least eight hours until it's set up good and firmly, and then we can put the front back on. Now we're ready to put the front panel back on. We'll engage those two clips on the bottom, the slots in the bottom of the front panel. There's also some rotating tabs on both sides that we'll need to line up with the cabinet. And as well, we'll have to pick up on the drum a bit to get it up on top of the upper front seal. Now with it in place, replace the two Phillips screws. Make sure these two screws are good and tight. Next, we'll reconnect the wire harnesses. And we're ready for the main top. Position the hinges with the two slots on the top panel. Make sure that that ground strap goes back on and is nice and snug. Snap the top back down. We'll reconnect the power and our repair is complete.